Malone being pushed to his limit here in the ninth inning. The first pitch to Nolan, swung on, flied to center. This one pretty deep, going back is Rackley to the wall. It is gone! Dylan Nolan, a grand slam, and the Cowboys take the lead. It's eight to five. Can you believe it? Holy cow, I cannot believe my eyes. Go one, breaking ball, lifted high in the air to right. Sanamatsu going back, has Capone done it again? He has! Andrew Capone, the power has arrived. His second home run in as many days for nothing Cowboys. It would be interesting to time travel back and see what Coconut Field was like back then as the 2-2 pitch swung on, belted high in the air to left field off the bat of Donovan. Dylan Smith going back, he's at the wall and that ball is out of here. Bryce Donovan, a two run shot, gets the Cowboys on the board in the third inning books are going to look, or mine at least. This one blasted to right field off the bat of Shirley. Back goes Daly, and that is gone. Buzz Shirley, bat flip and bombs away. A three-run shot, 6 nothing Alpine. Cam Holland puts a charge into this ball, deep to left field, backing up his climb to the wall. It is off the wall, and gone! Cam Holland, a two-run homer. Right off the top of the wall and over. This game ain't over yet. It's 14 to 13. Derek Pilaki tips his cap to the coconut crowd. He is hitting next in what will be his final plate appearance, we believe. We know that Derek is leaving Alpine soon. He started in 2014 as the play-by-play -play guy. His brother, Lee J, was a Cowboys player. Eight years of service to the Alpine community. Eight with this team. Also spent quite a few years at Sol Ross State University as their sports information director. Pilaki stands in for one last at bat. What does he have in store for us? He grounded out to second in his first at bat. I was back in the sixth. First pitch, a called strike on the outside corner. He's facing Garza. Hey, I would just like to mention the bat in Pilaki's hands courtesy of myself. Oh, that is your bat. <laughs> that is definitely something to note. Lori on third. Blocky swings, he fouls it back. Goes to 0-2, his first at bat was just two pitches long. It's a called strike and then the ground ball. Let's hope and pray that he can find a hole here. Definitely been putting a good swing on it. And I think it's gonna pay off right here for him. Blocky rocking the high sock, look, the black socks, red jersey, the white number four on his back. Wagging the bat behind his helmet. The 0-2 from Garza is swung on, sent out to right. It is down for a base hit. Balaki has done it, a single. Josh Laurie scores. Derek Balaki, dreams have come true in Alpine. <laughs> An RBI single. The I crowd cannot right believe it. I have chills right now, that was amazing. <laughs> Palaki, what a moment. Everyone is out of the Cowboys dugout. They are going to first base to hug Derek. Wow, what an incredible scene. Even Barry the Bat Boy is joining in. Everyone giving him high fives. A single and an RBI in his final pro at bat. The one, two to Persky. Line drive over the head of the shortstop. A base hit to left. It will roll to the wall. Scoring is Canty. Persky going for two. He will stop there with an RBI double. Atta boy, skip. It's 13 to six. No, no, no. So Mark Trailer steps to the plate again. And as we have mentioned last night and after his first at bat today, he's looking for history. Going for hit number 168 for the all time Cowboys leader in the hits department. He's got the bases loaded and nobody out. First pitch to him is gonna get away to the backstop. Chugging home is Holsey, he's gonna score. And that's how the Cowboys get their second run, a wild pitch by Jacob Hubbard, makes it 2 nothing. Well, we've talked about the um, struggles behind the plate for Gabriel Murillo all series long, but you know, there was really nothing he could do about that one. That one was clear out of his reach. That should definitely go down as a wild pitch there. And that one end up in the other batter's box as Trailer digs back in with a 1-0 count. He's got two men in scoring position now. The pitch from Hubbard 
Trailer, a breaking ball up the middle. This one is going to sneak through into center field, and there it is. As two runs are going to score, Mark Trailer has done it. History made in Austin, hit number 168, the all-time Cowboys hits leader. He eclipses Lance Myers with sole possession of first place. So well, save that ball. Cowboys trying for their first win in Garden City this year. 0-4 coming into play after that four-game sweep to open the season. Vengeance on the tip of their tongues. The 2-1. Swing and a miss. Goes off the glove of Johnson right in front of him. And the wind are down to their final strike. Crowd here anxious from Clint Leitner Field. Najee King on second, Taylor Barber on third. The potential tying run at the plate. The 2-2 from Hess is inside. Mm. Fastball nearly got Zelge, but he got out of the way, and the count is full. They do have first base open, but Matt Hess would like to end it here and now. Infield playing back for Alpine. Johnson gives Hess the sign, he is ready. The right-hander throwing from the stretch. The payoff is fouled straight back, and we'll do it again. Cowboys in wind. The top two teams in the Mountain Division. Garden leading Alpine two and a half games. Cowboys want to use this series to close that deficit and hopefully take over first in the Mountain Division. It would start here. They can get this win tonight. Hess is ready. The payoff one more time. Swing and a miss. The Cowboys win. Eight to five. Matt Hess in his first appearance gets the save. Dylan Nolan with the go-ahead grand slam. What a game all around, Lincoln. Yeah, this was fantastic for the Cowboys. The hits were a little slow starting off, but they came at the right time taking the lead in the ninth and never looking back, getting their first win in Garden City of the season and a rare loss for the Garden City win here, but they're third in a row. Revenge is a dish best served cold. That was cold-blooded by Dylan Nolan and the Cowboys. A gutsy, gutsy win tonight in Garden City, Kansas. With this win today, the Cowboys move to 27 and 11 on the year. The Garden City win, they fall to 28 and nine. The gap, one and a half games between these two teams, one and two in the Mountain Division. Hopefully we have four games left. You could see Cowboys maybe take over that top spot if they can keep winning ball games. Let's hope. So that's gonna do it for us here tonight in Southwest Kansas. The Cowboys, eight runs on 14 hits, two errors. The Garden City wind, five runs on 11 hits, no errors in the ball game. A five run ninth is the difference for the Cowboys tonight. Everybody involved here on this broadcast in KVLF. My name is Ethan Ibe alongside my broadcast partner, Lincoln Rebels, saying good night and join us at 6.35 tomorrow, Central Time, 7.30 on the East Coast. Good night and go Cowboys.